today is Sunday, and I guess if you're seeing this screen, this usually means that I've got Dollar Tree pickups, or some sort of media movie pickups. Before we get to this, I've got these couldn't wooden slats in the way here. And what in the heck is this? Well, a little damage there, it looks like. Uh, this is actually an old tripod. An old wooden tripod. There's the uh, brass fittings down here on the bottom here. Um, I'll try to get a better shot there. Sorry about the light there. And... I found this at the Goodwill bins, and I, if you can read this right here, I'll try to get this in front of the camera here, it's kind of long here. There we go. This is a Eastman Kodak Company Model D Bullseye. Um, it's a tripod. It says patented August 24th, 1897, made in USA, Rochester, New York. So that was really cool. This probably cost me about $3 at the bins. Uh, nobody found it, nobody saw it, nobody grabbed it. One guy said, oh yeah, nobody wants those anymore. I'm sure they do. They're using them for, they're putting a hole in there and making them into lamps. Uh, you can actually attach your digital camera to that little screw there, the threaded screw there. All kinds of good stuff. And then these things uh, go out for, to be even longer. Well, anyway, it, I don't have it on. There we go. There. So really cool. Just sharp on the end there, that's all. Like I said, for three bucks. Uh, the last one of these that was on eBay sold for 60 plus dollars and um, auction and another 10 for shipping so uh, might as well grab that for three that's really cool and this could be from 1897 but more than likely it's probably from the early 1900s needs a little cleaning there's a little damage there from from when it was in the bins there and some old paint that can be scraped off but really in good condition for that old uh, the other things that i picked up there i needed a vcr uh, head cleaner head cleaner plus so um Hopefully it's not completely used up. This probably was about 75 cents or this, I'm not sure. Uh, these bins are just ridiculously expensive, so, um, uh, you know, for most things. And here is uh, Red Greens of Cars and Men. I did not have that one. I needed that one, and I figured, yeah. But, you know, if you pay more than a dollar for VCR tape, that's a little bit too much. And I'm guessing these are probably close to a dollar. I'm not sure. It's pretty heavy. Um, what else did I pick up at the bins there? Just a few media things here. Um, we'll see what else do we have here. Ravi Shankar, uh, sitar with Chatar Lal Tabla Pradyat Sen Tambora. So, you know Ravi Shankar from the Beatles, you know, a lot of the, um, Indian music that, um, I figured might as grab that. This was $1.29 for this one here. I have one more bins pick up here, and it was a movie. And movies are $2.29 per disc at an outlet store. Can you believe that? What a ripoff. This was originally $9.97 at a Buy Mart store. And, and it's still brand new factory sealed more or less. This is the Italian job. Came out in 2003. I was thinking it came out in 2008. But long, long time ago. You could probably even find this on VCR tape. If I'm not mistaken. Pretty close to it. Um... But anyway, I figured, at uh, $2.29, might as well grab it, save it. I haven't seen this, or at least if I have, I, it's been a long time. Uh, full screen, unfortunately, for most of those people that don't like full screen. Maybe that's why it was donated and got rid of. Anyway, that's what that is. Uh, on the way back, oh, before I, yeah, I, I found a couple of more baseball cards, heritage baseball cards. And um, I found a few pages here. I just only needed a few, so that's what I bought. On the way back, I said, you know what, I'm going to head off to Target. Went to Target, didn't buy much there. And then I went to Dollar Tree at the end of the road, and there were two huge piles. One on the shelves, and one on the front. It was not their daily, it was not their weekly special. But there was movies everywhere. It's like, like an earthquake hit Dollar Tree, and they dumped everything everywhere. All displays were all over, dirt was on the floor. It, it's absolutely disgusting, so people don't pick up anything or clean anything. But we have the 13-part documentary series, American Guns. I don't know if anybody has grabbed this one here. Not sure. I don't know who put this out. Mill Creek has this out for, at the moment. So there's that one. Then I've seen a few people grab Going In Style. I think I saw the promo or preview for this a little while back. And I thought, might as well grab it, PG-13. There were a number of copies of this. I mean... If you're going to pay $2.29 for a very old movie, The Italian Job, you might as well go to Dollar Tree and grab some much more newer titles. Blu-ray and DVD combo pack uh, for a dollar. Uh, Sean Astin, Sandra Pena, and um, about the World Cup and dogs and stuff like that. So it's in Spanish and English, I believe. So there's that.
and that was all complete. That's my other Blu-ray there. Uh, we found uh, Dwayne Johnson in San Andreas. I figured, you know, a rock movie for a buck. It's world's cheapest jewel case. You can practically squeeze it all the way through, but I will replace it with something else. Again, that's PG-13. And there's that one, San Andreas. Uh, and then I grabbed rubber because I have not seen that at very many Dollar Trees, a magnet title. And other people thought it was really strange, so I figured I might as well grab it too. And uh, don't know anything about it, but it might be an interesting movie to watch. And last but not least, I got The Man of Steel, which some people like or dislike. But I figure a Superman movie for a buck that's got, uh, you know, Kevin Costner and Diane Lane, Lawrence Fishburne, and Russell Crowe in it, might as well. So, PG-13 as well. There's a theme here. So, very cool. Lots of nice uh, movie pickups, including the red green of Cars and Men. Again, when you're buying VCR tapes, try not to pay over a dollar. Uh, uh, many of these, do uh, the, do the um, Goodwills, I've noticed, are stopped selling. A v the when I was at this outlet, really quickly, there must have been probably, oh, I don't know, 500 to 1,000 movies. There was bins, just movies, DVDs, VCR tapes, just everywhere in two or three bins. Plus the one up in front by the, towards the register. Just, but nobody, I was the only one looking at these. There was one person looking at the records, and I think he threw almost every single one back. So, I mean, uh, what a waste. And all of those go back somewhere. I think they throw it in a media bin and try to get somebody to buy it in bulk, all the leftovers. But nobody was scanning, nobody was doing anything with them. Because I think Goodwill has already pulled out all the rare ones. So, that's what I have for you today. And um, check your local Dollar Trees, because they're still loaded with movies. Uh, more than anybody could can handle, and thank you for watching.